in the Eastern Cape. The party is going all out in its drive to be victorious in this fiercely contested metro in the upcoming local government elections. My money says that disadvantaged communities in the townships of Port Elizabeth have shown confidence in the DA and have promised to vote for change. Meanwhile, DA leaders in Gauteng were also on the campaign trail to promote the party's election messages. Musi Maimane says the DA's campaign in Port Elizabeth Metro has been well received. The DA leader kicked off his program at Kwazakele in Port Elizabeth. He urged supporters to vote for change, adding that their vote will go a long way towards halting corruption in the metro. We are certain our people are growing. We have been in every community. You are see that even where the ANC comes, people are chasing them away. Because South Africans don't have work. South Africans, particularly in communities such as this one, where you where the houses are falling apart. My money promises that a DA-led local administration will focus on infrastructure development in the townships, create jobs, and provide decent housing. And west of Pretoria, the DA election campaign faced some opposition from residents who accused the party of making empty promises. Mayoral candidate Solim Simanga was on a charm offensive at Herman Stadt. He encountered an angry resident, Lena Fenter, who says her municipal bill is 20,000 rand in arrears. For 10 years, every time before the election, we signed for title debts and nothing happens. And now we receive um, huge amounts of accounts that we must pay and we don't have that money because they told us, stop paying, the yeah, house is out. yours. Msimanga did his best to sidestep Lena's unfortunate circumstances. I needed to remind people and educate people that, you know, um, in opposition, there's very little that you can do. But in government, that's when you, you have the power to do what needs to be done. The DA says it plans to take over Tswane from the ruling ANC within the next 21 days. Dumala Mutlaudi, SABC News.